Dinner? On a roof? Yeah, does that sound that crazy to you? Unexpected. Maybe. I mean, from you. Yeah, I just thought we could... eat. Eat? Yeah, eat. That's what you do at dinner. The building is on 10th in Edith, and it's a very nice night out. It's warm. So, will you, will you come? You are right. It is a beautiful night out. Mm -hmm. You know, we could just order some Chinese and get some cold beers and eat out here. Yeah, we could. But it wouldn't be as uh, special. As in on a roof? It's not like we haven't done it before. Yeah, but for special occasions. I mean, is, is this a special occasion? Well, why don't you show up and find out? Oh, why are you doing that to me? You're yes. acting all mysterious, and you've got that funny little smile. What are you about? I smile? Not that smile. What? Jason, you're very matter-of-fact. If you are hot, you pull the covers off. If you're hungry, you eat. And if you want to take a ride, you go. Well, maybe it's a ride. I want to take you on. Well, maybe I want you to tell me exactly where it is that we're going before I decide I want to go on that ride or not. Mm. Come on. Just tell me. Well, you can ask me all you want about tonight, but you're not going to find out until you get there. But I really But there's no, no, I... because the longer you take to say yes, the less time I have to prepare. See? That's exactly what I'm talking about. Since when do you prepare? Sorry. Okay. Okay. Correction. No, you... For business, you are always prepared down to the last second. But for your personal right. life, you are spontaneous. Oh, I guess I'm not going to get any answers until I go to the roof. Fine. You go prepare. Good. What? Well, yeah. do you want me to bring anything? No, I got it covered. Really? Yeah. All I need is, is you. Me? Yeah. Wait, hold on one second. Should I wear something tactful or trendy? Uh, I think you should wear whatever makes you feel beautiful. I mean, not that you need much help with that. Mm -hmm. with that. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. One hour. Yeah, one okay, hour. Bye. Yeah. Okay, what's wrong with Spinelli? Or a Jackal PR, yeah, or both of them? Spinelli's okay. Then what's the big emergency? Why did you need me? I could very possibly regret this, and don't make me. But I, I need your help. My help? I invited Sam uh, to dinner. On, on a rooftop. It's a very special dinner. You're you, you are proposing, right? Yes, and that's why... So say no more. You, you need someone with taste and flash. Is that the mood right? Well, more taste, less flash, please. Trust me. What are you wearing? Obviously what, not what you have on. What? What's the menu? And flowers. There have to be flowers. Well, there's a florist in the building at 10th. And, Ooh, uh, Edith? Yeah. No, that's a horrible idea. They sell stuff for graves. You and Sunny on the building, right? Actually, no, don't answer that. I'll set the whole thing up. Wait, the ring! No, I need to see the ring. Judging by your taste in florists, the jeweler probably already had tacky engraved on the inside. Well, I, I don't really have a ring, so what do, what Wait, do I do about a, what, a ring? No ring? Well, forget it. You're dead in the water. This is completely different from anything I've had you do for Kate Howard or the magazine. It needs to be intimate. Urban with a touch of... Oh, the color, the color scheme sounds perfect. Yes, the dessert sounds great. I let the building manager know you're on your way over to let you in. I still have a lot of work to do to pull this thing out of the fire. I'll talk to you later. <clears throat> what are you wearing? What do you, what do you mean? You told me to change, so I, I, I changed. You... You need to wear a blue shirt. What are you talking? This is fine. This is a good suit. No, this is not fine. I arranged the entire color scheme to match the blue of your eyes, and it needs to reflect off of your shirt. I work for a fashion magazine. Well, I'm the one proposing, not somebody in a fashion magazine. And these clothes are fine. Do you love this woman? Come on. Yes, I love Sam. Then you need to make some sort of effort. Thank God you had the sense to call me. Uh, and I'm starting to regret that. <laughs> OK. Well, there's men's attire in the warehouse at work, so I can run by there and grab you a blue shirt. It's, Sam's fine. It's not going to matter. She's not going to care. Every woman cares. Okay, do you have something prepared that you're going to say? I am not surprised. Well, I, I mean, I have the general idea of what 
I'm, I'm gonna say. Okay, practice. With you? Yes, with me. Get down on one knee and propose your general idea to me. I'll get it. It's for me. Or more importantly, for Sam. Evelyn, thank God. I got here as quickly as I could. Jason, this is Evelyn. She lets Crimson borrow all of her fine jewelry for our upscale shoots. This is Jason, our emergency in question. Don't worry, I'll be picking out the ring. I didn't know the ring was for you. How lovely. Congratulations. You guys make a very sweet couple. I'm not sure I ever heard the term surrogate bride before, but whatever works. We need this proposal to work. I like these. Well, uh, which one? The blue one? It's called a sapphire. Five carats, oval, set in platinum. With lots of sparkles around it. Enhancement, courtesy of 14 surrounding diamonds. A very popular choice. Very. It's the engagement ring that Prince William gave to Kate. Shouldn't it be simpler? Okay, what about that one? Ah, oh, yes, lovely. 14 carat, white gold, aquamarine. Just like the color of the shirt you'll be wearing that matches your eyes. Kind of matches my eyes, too. I like this one. It's not for you. Yeah, but there might be, you know, an occasion where Sam would want to let me borrow it, since I am the surrogate and all. This one. Oh, my. Oh, wow. From the private reserve. Brought it on a lock. How much is it? Uh, the cut, color, and clarity are flawless. So... Wow! I think Sam's gonna love this. So, is that a yes? So? It's a yes. No. Wow. <laughs> what were you doing out on the porch like a stranger? Oh, I need you to use your key. I didn't Come mind, in. actually. It's nice weather. You know, the humidity's not so bad for late July. Really? Yeah. It's kind of hot. Are you dizzy? Even if I were, I'd never be too busy for my daughter. What's up? I think you're amazing. I do. We do. Your job. Raising Christina and Molly. Uh, oh. Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> it's certainly a quantity job. It's, it's, I'm not sure that I, I'm so good with the quality part of it. No, uh -uh. Christina and Molly prove that you are. But despite everything that you've been through and despite everything that they've been through, do you ever... What? Well, do you ever wish that you weren't doing it alone? Oh. You gonna go there? This isn't about Mac, is it, or me? I mean... No. We talk on the phone. Uh-huh. Yeah, I mean, phone tag. It's just... <sighs> well, I mean, do you ever miss being in love? <sighs> I... What? I mean, do you think that we sabotage love, I... or do you think that it lasts? think it's both. Okay. What are you getting at? I... Okay. I really want to tell you something, but I'm not sure you're going to be happy about it, and I kind of want you to. <sighs> okay, so Molly came to see Jason and me, and she's in a big twist because she's really down on love right now. <gasps> Good. I need a break from some of those romantic soliloquies. Really? I mean, is it that bad? Yes, you don't live with her. No. A little healthy cynicism is good for her when she gets older. It'll protect her heart from all the boys that will use it as target practice. Yeah, but this is the thing. If we stop believing, right, and, and we think that love is a lie, then we die inside. And that's what Molly thinks right now. She thinks that love is a lie. Is this because of Sonny and Brenda? And Jax and Carly. Yeah. And me, and the mm -hmm. list is too long. Okay. Never mind. What did you tell her? Well, I told her that love can sustain you. And I also told her that sometimes when you think that you've lost it, it can turn around and you can get it back and it'll be better than it ever was to begin with. You didn't just make that up off the top of your head. You've been thinking about this, haven't you? Well, I mean, it's just that Jason and I, we've... We were what? We've been together a long time. Let me just and... save you trouble here. You and Jason are talking about suddenly getting married, right? 
better this looks? No, I don't. Could you work with me, please? The roof is already set up. I had them email me pictures, just to be sure, so the rest is up to you. Okay. And this. I really didn't think you had such great taste, but it's probably because you deal in so much contraband. Where, what are you doing? You can't really appreciate the stone until you viewed it in natural no, light. No, no, I've appreciated the ring already. What no, see how much it sparkles in the sunlight? But you're going to need to get it sized because it's a little big. 